What is up guys this is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about some updates that Premiere Pro just recently released which is April 2023 Premiere Pro 23.3 updates right and today I'm going to talk about the few updates that they have introduced. The first one is when we are working any project in Adobe Premiere Pro we usually enable the auto saving process and it is interrupting our work process when the file is being saved. So if you have updated Adobe Premiere Pro 2023 which is the 23.3 april updates then you are in good luck that thing is not going to interrupt you when you are working in adobe premiere pro the next one is color management when you are working with log profile log profile footage suppose if i show you here is a video that i have recorded using s log 3 right the video is really flat so if i want to work with that video file if i click and drag it you will see the video file is not looking good i have to go to lumetri and uh, then i have to go to basic correction and from the input lut i have to apply a color correction lut right so i use limbing lut so i have to go to that folder and from here i have to use the lut that i want to use which is for s log 3 if i apply it then you see the video have been color corrected properly right it is looking much better but in the recent update you don't need to do that kind of thing so if i delete that sequence uh, you have to first enable that process go to edit and then go to preference and from here go to general and from this section you have to enable auto detect log video color space right so select it then click ok and from now premiere pro will automatically apply a color correction lot when you are working with log footage if i click and drag it here you'll see the video is looking pretty good so it has already applied the color correction now i can tweak a little bit and then i can color grade my video so that is a neat process if you're working with lock footage then that will save a lot of time and again it is not supported for every single lock profile if you are using dji lock d lock then this process is not supported but i think soon they will update it and the next update is you can directly send any sequence or project to media encoder to encode your video or render your video right so if you go to file and from here if you go export here you see there is a new option called send to media encoder now you don't need to go to media and then uh, what we usually do from here we usually send the file to media encoder but now you don't need to do that you can directly send this project file to media encoder just by going file then export then if you click send to media encoder then media encoder will open and you can render your video file from there so why should you use media encoder media encoder will give you a lot of flexibility suppose if you want to render multiple file together then you can use media encoder if you use media encoder to render your file you can actually work in adobe premiere pro at the same time that is the benefit right so here you can see media encoder has been opened and from here you can just click here on this play section to encode the video file in media encoder and again if you go here on the export panel here you will see the recently applied profiles are available in the recent section that was not available before so from now the profile that you are using frequently that will be available here on the recent section so you don't need to go to the profile every single time you can just actually click and from here you can select the profile that you use frequently another update is if you're working with adobe premiere pro production project so if i go to window and then if i go to production so that is my production process so here in the production panel this is the project that i'm working currently which is premiere pro 13.3 right if i double click it then you can see that project has been opened right again if i open this one which is the template one that is have been opened now if i go to my this project i can click and drag any file from here and then i can easily copy that file here right and if i press ctrl or command here then it will make a duplicate copy it will not move the actual file it will duplicate this screen record here so that is available here and also that is available here if i delete it and then if i just click and drag it what will happen see that is not available here that have been moved so you can easily move any video file or any asset from one project to another project under your production project very easily from now now the next update is if you're using a red camera and if you're using a mac computer to edit those footage if you're using a mac that contains m1 or m2 chip 
then red r 3d footage are significantly improved right the performance of those footage are significantly improved on mac system and lastly some transition like center split or if you're using non-addictive dissolve or if you're using split transition that has been gpu accelerated in adobe premiere pro april 23.3 updates also in adobe premiere pro there is a new panel have been introduced which is the learning panel right so if i go here window and from here if i go learn there is a new panel right if i click here then that panel will be open that is the panel from here you can learn different things suppose if you want to learn this one which is a great promotional video you can download the project it will actually download the project here in Adobe Premiere Pro and you can practice along with the project asset that have been provided last but not the least which is a notification window suppose if you want to import any mogart file that is essential template in Adobe Premiere Pro sometimes we click and drag it on the project panel right so if you are trying to drag it on the project panel then premiere pro will show you a notification that that is not the correct place to import mogart file you have to go to essential graphics window to import any mogart file so those are the updates that adobe has introduced in adobe premiere pro april 2023 that's all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye